Hey, what's going on, Z Nation? Zade here, ZSPN. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Phoenix Suns tonight. So, guys, uh, it has already begun. Uh, the Lakers without LeBron James and Anthony Davis at the same time, but due to injuries. Uh, as we uh, already know this by now, I even reported it in my last video, and it's basically across all social media, that LeBron James has uh, suffered a high, sp high ankle sprain injury. And uh, according to some sources, I got my source from the Lakers Nation uh, uh, YouTube, Trevor Lane, and uh, he basically got an expert and uh, who was a doctor, and he basically said that LeBron James's injury uh, is um, pretty significant uh, to a long-term recovery. But uh, you know, knowing LeBron James and how he takes care of his body, he could potentially return in three to six weeks. So if you think about it, we are almost at the end of March and uh, so far it could potentially, his return could potentially be around maybe late April or possibly if he, if the Lakers want him to be conservative and just, you know, make sure that he is not, not just a, you know, he's a hundred percent. No, we need to make sure that he's 110 percent, 120. I mean, all across the board that he's just ready to go. Then you could potentially see LeBron James return maybe um, in May, in the beginning of May, or possibly in the playoffs. But, uh, um, you know, that's sort of instant. And then you have Anthony Davis, who was out for a month now, and uh, he could potentially come back, but it still remains to be seen. Uh, you know, he could come back in April, but it still remains to be seen about that. But... Uh, both of our superstars is going to be out, and uh, so far it kind of looks like that the Lakers are going to be <laughs> suffering a couple of losses under their belt for the next, I believe, two months remaining of the regular season. Uh, you know, uh, two months and a half. So, uh, you, you know, the Lakers are going to be struggling. That's why uh, when it's all said and done, all the Lakers have to step up and just bring their all. I mean, 110% of their energy, their athleticism, I mean, everything in their arsenal to basically win us some games here and there. Um, I'm, you know, what we witnessed in tonight's game against the Phoenix Suns, we noticed that the Lakers were struggling. You know, like I said, LeBron and Anthony Davis are out, so they had to deal what they have in front of them. Rob, uh, uh, Frank Vogel just had to deal with what he has in front of him. And, uh, you know, uh, the lineup is different. The rotation is different. And, uh, well, to the point, it's not so different. I mean, um, Montrez Harold, you know, he, he stepped up as always. Uh, averaged, I believe, 22 points, I believe. I might be mistaken, but, uh, uh, you know, he stepped up off the bench uh, in, in a sense. I mean, I'm trying to put some positivity here uh, when it comes to how the Lakers played against the Phoenix Suns. Uh, you can tell that they were struggling because, you know, like I mentioned, and, you know, it's due to the circumstances. And, you know, they had to deal what they had in front of them. And, you know, it just wasn't enough for the Lakers to beat the Phoenix Suns tonight. And, uh, um, you know, when it comes to the starting lineup, I mean, Dennis Schroeder, uh, his ability as always to always step up for the Lakers uh, was well known out there tonight. I believe he also averaged 22 points out there for the Lakers. Kyle Kuzma, I have to say this right now, guys, he needs to step up. Okay, more than ever. Uh, you know, 13 points, it's not going to cut it. We need him to you know, just be the old Kyle Kuzma who is starting again, and he's potentially going to be starting for the next two months. And uh, he just needs to change his whole repertoire, his uh, mindset when it comes to uh, the next couple of uh, months to go of the regular season. And uh, he just needs to step up or until maybe one of the Lakers superstars, maybe uh, Anthony Davis, who is almost close to returning, but it remains to be seen when he will return. But, uh, you know, 
in that instance, uh, you know, Kyle Kuzma needs to step up more than ever, uh, and the rest of the Lakers squad. Uh, KCP needs to step up uh, as well. And, um, you know, I'm probably going to go on a, in like in a, in a whole cycle here about a certain players need to step up here and there. Marcus Saul and stuff like that. Alice Caruso. I mean, everyone needs to step up moving forward. But, you know, when it comes to anything, really, uh, the starting lineup, no, sorry, uh, the uh, the Lakers management needs to, you know, make sure that they need to improve their roster once uh, uh, March 25th approaches. Okay, it's just in a couple of days, uh, you know, the trade deadline, the free, uh, sorry, the, um, the buyout market is uh, all on the table for the Lakers to possibly find uh, some sort of way to improve their, their team. And Rob Palinka, he has a lot on his plate now to make sure that the Lakers are on track to, you know, not just somehow, uh, you know, reach the playoffs and go to the finals, but to win a championship. I mean, that's still in the mindsets of most Laker fans and the organization. Because, you know, any given time, you know, LeBron and Anthony Davis would will potentially return. Uh, but it still remains to be seen. Uh, when they could potentially return once playoffs uh, approaches, but still remains to be seen about that. But you know, the mindset has always been that the Lakers do need a a uh, a center. They need a three and D possibly, or maybe another shooter. I mean, there's a lot of scenarios, and you know, this isn't just my own personal opinion uh, about uh, what Rapalinka should do when it comes to the current roster. Um, you know, personally, there's some players that are on the roster that are not really cutting it. And maybe Rob Palinka needs to make some decisions, possibly to release some players. I mean, uh, Wesley Matthews, possibly, or maybe uh, Marcus Gasol. I mean, just to build some other way to just, you know, change up the, the roster and the rotations and once the buyout market approaches. So there's a lot on the Lakers uh plate to basically improve the roster now uh, and it's always been that mindset to improve it but uh, uh, but you know this this one is uh, more uh, importance of the Lakers to improve their roster more than ever and uh, you know Andre Drummond is still on the list uh, you know uh, there's there's a lot there's a lot on the Lakers list when it comes to improving their roster uh, like a uh, George Hill, possibly, or maybe, um, you know, Hassan Whiteside. You know, there's a lot, a lot that the Lakers could do to improve their roster. And uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, scenarios that they could potentially uh, somehow improve their uh, roster moving uh, for these next couple of days and who they'll potentially uh, go after. So, uh, so yeah, guys, it was a disappointing loss, but it was expected because of the circumstances. And uh, Laker fans, um, you guys just, you know, when it comes to this, uh, we know it very well. Uh, the Lakers uh, have always uh, persevered when it comes to building a roster and, you know, just having, uh, you know, you know, losing records I mean we have been there and uh, this is not anything new for us and so Laker fans it's always good to be patient because good things will come uh, in the future when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers and their uh, expectations to win and you know just keep on uh, building that uh, those championship uh, banners, uh, you know, uh, on their resume. So um, I really want to know, guys, your thoughts and your opinions about this Lakers situation. And uh, wh what do you think about the Lakers so far uh, when it comes to, you know, the buyout market and the trade rumors approaching? Uh, do you think the Lakers should make a move to potentially trade somebody? Or do you think the buyout market is the best uh, route for the Lakers? And who do you think they should pursue? And if there is some players out there who are still interested of 
the Lakers, uh, due to the circumstances that they're in, uh, will they still come? I mean, there's still that possibility as well. Uh, there's a lot of scenarios, a lot to, lot to think about when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers and their situation that they're in now. And uh, guys, all I have to say really is just prayers up. <laughs> prayers up uh you know pray for lebron james for a speedy recovery for him to be uh at 100 percent uh alice caruso sorry not alice caruso uh, anthony davis uh same goes for him and the rest of the Lakers squad let's just put that out there the rest of the Lakers squad uh they should uh hope just pray on it guys and you know make sure that you know god just blesses them <laughs> i guess uh for them to stay healthy throughout the uh the way and hopefully uh, a speedy recovery for LeBron and Anthony Davis. So um, guys, please comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go Lakers. Take it easy, guys. Stay safe up there, uh, uh, out there, and uh, chin up. Chin up, uh, Lakers Nation. Uh, you know, uh, just be patient. Things will go good for the Lakers moving forward. So take it easy out there.